There are all kinds of definitions for evolution out there. Typically, when we think of evolution, we think of Darwinian evolution. The idea of all life descended from a common ancestor, as one kind ultimately turns into another kind. And eventually, ape-like creatures supposedly evolved into humans. But now, we often hear a very different definition. A recent article defined evolution according to a definition from famous evolutionary biologist Richard Dawkins. Evolution is changed gene frequencies in populations. The article goes on to state, If for some reason a given gene in a patch of weed say gets slightly more or less common from one generation to the next, evolution has happened. The gene doesn't have to confer a survival advantage or be adaptive or make the weed fitter. It doesn't have to be selected for or increase biological complexity. It simply has to change in frequency, maybe by chance, that is all. They then explain that some of these changes in gene frequencies increase the organism's chance of survival and passing along its genes. They explain, These genes are more likely to be passed on. Gene frequency has changed and evolution has happened. But something else has taken place too. Adaptation through natural selection. This special case of evolution renders a population fitter, as in a better fit, not physically fitter for its environment. Their main point is that evolution has no direction, no goal, and it's not moving toward an increase in complexity, as many people think. Therefore, they believe many people have misconceptions about evolution. But in their definition of evolution, they are really equivocating. They are taking something we observe, changes in gene frequencies in the population, and calling that evolution. Even though no change in kind has happened, no new genetic information has been added into the genome. By the way, evolutionists use the word evolution isn't just to mean change, they use the word evolution for small changes and supposed molecules to man evolution type of changes. The small changes we observe, but the other supposed changes we don't. Think about it this way, in order to turn a single-celled organism into a more complex creature, they must add in a tremendous amount of brand new genetic information. It's this genetic information that codes for how to build every different organism here on Earth. Without genetic information, you cannot build any living thing. And yet, changes in gene frequency aren't adding any brand new genetic information. It's a loss of already existing information, a reshuffling of information, or a preservation of information that was already there. In every case, the information is already there. Certain environmental factors simply increase or decrease the frequency of genes that are already there. They are trying to slip in the entirety of molecule to man evolution with small variation pre-existing changes that is already within a kind. So changes in gene frequency cannot be the definition for how evolution works. It simply doesn't provide a brand new genetic information that evolution requires in order to turn a molecule into a man over long periods of time. There's no known naturalistic method that can create brand new genetic information. So molecules to man evolution is biologically impossible. Do we have the definition of evolution wrong? No. Evolutionists just keep changing it in order to make a failed idea that has never been observed appear now to have observational evidence to support it. But as ever, molecules to man evolution is nothing more than a fairy tale. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.